we're gonna put some diaxu back in the diaxu. Well, I need a wet ass day. As you can see, no extra work's happened to Sarge. Uh, we're going to do a bit of stuff on the F10. I'm trying to sort out the shifter this round. Um, the linkage setup of the K20 run flipped the direction of the stick, basically. Um, which I found out after I hacked all the selector rods up. So that's fine. So now we have an Aeroflow 400mm long shift cable. Uh, I probably could have gone 300 now that I think of it, but I went 400 just so I had a bit extra fat to sort of buff around. So, we have the shifter in the bench vice here. And I just measured it out and I've made up a rough sort of mount that's going to go in like that. Yeah. It welded on there. So I've got to bang a few holes in the end here. And that this end of the cable will then bolt to that mount and then that will connect to there I'll gotta I'll have to turn up a bolt but yeah all right two holes one cable bracket on now to fit it to that I'm on the bench there is shit everywhere at the moment I've got Sarge's wiring harness in here bubbling away so I can repair some electrical faults in it and rewrap it Bare engine blocks laying around, waiting on time to put them back together. Oh my god, Jesus. Maybe one day I'll get to it all. That's alright. Let's see if we can line this mess up on the shifter without a pin to line that up. I'm sure this won't suck at all. What do you reckon? Something like that? Yeah, something like that. Obviously, the, that's relatively flexible there. That's why it's got that long stem on it. But marked it, a welder on, tack it on. Nah, we'll weld it on. We'll back and weld it on. Yeah. Yeah. Rightio, day two. I painted this thing silver because I couldn't find my black paint. I thought it was out. And then I found black paint. So I guess I'll paint that black because you will see part of that when it's in the car. And that used to be the plate for the transfer case stick. And they are naturally black, so I will we'll paint it black. But I painted it silver because I didn't want it to rust. And I'm like, oh, I'll get black paint later. And then I was digging through my paint shelf behind the door there. Um, and found a can of black paint. So that's fine. Anyway, we've got it bolted up. I used the original uh, cross pin and mount here. And I just drilled and tapped it for an M6 bolt. Washer on the inside to space it out right. And now we've got a cable shifter. Yeah, yeah. So now I've got to put this in the truck and then work devise a way to mount all that end up. Yeah. So that should be fun. But that's fine. We'll get to it. But yeah, I was you know, pretty happy with it. Yep. Pretty happy with it. Anyway, let's put this in the rig and we'll start climbing underneath and start trying to work out a bracket for the adjuster thing. Um, I think on my C4 in the fair lane. Actually, no, it's Jimmy C4 and his Hilux. It's a bracket that comes off the pan bolt, so I'll probably do basically a similar thing to that. It's got to come to the front of the box, though, to push and pull it, does it? No, no, it's back of the box. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, back of the box. Because when it's in park, it's fully extended. So that'll go to the back of the gearbox. And then as I select reverse, neutral, drive, and low, it gets shorter. So yeah, so it goes to the back of the gearbox. All right, I've got to remember that, otherwise I'll fuck it up again. Anyway, let's climb underneath this truck, see what we can do. Right, eh? So I've been under the car, done some measuring, and uh, we're figuring out a mount for the other end of the cable. So there's me fucking rowdy ass drawing. You don't need to understand it, only I need to. And there's a bit of scrap, and marked it out and we're gonna start cutting it. I know it looks like I know it looks like shit, but give it a minute. Trust the process, mate. It'll be right. 
It'll probably still look like shit at the end of it, but I don't care as long as it shifts gears. It's under the car. Who gives a fuck? But we'll hack this some bitch up and we'll show you what she looks like in a minute. There we have it. So that's going to bolt to the side of the tea case like that. I've got a 10 degree angle up on the nose because of the cables sort of going a wee bit uphill to the gearbox. It's going to be rolled around a bit like that. Um, but yeah, I just plug welded it, welded it both sides, buff that radius off. So yeah, we'll go test fit it. See if it works. Hopefully it does. Um, but if it doesn't, they haven't stopped making steel, so I'll just make a fucking another one. Whatever. Anyway, put it in the car. I had to do a bit of churning up around here, you can see, and I had to bend it a little bit to line up to the auto. Um, but it's a relatively straight shot. I don't know if you can really see that, there's the end of the cable there, and then where it's hooking up to is just there, so that's the selector. So it's a pretty straightish shot, got it sort of looped up around the back of the T-case there, I'll have to maybe do a skid here, potentially. Um, we'll go up and try it out, it's pretty tight, maybe it might make it a bit hard shift and I might have to... I don't know, do something else, maybe come up around here potentially. But I didn't want too much hanging below the tea case. Um, unfortunately, that's as good as I can get it. <laughs> uh, so if that shifts all right, it's gonna stay like that because it's pretty well tucked up out of the way. If it doesn't, I guess I'll just loop it like straight out, straight in. I can get a shorter cable. This is a 400, I can get a 300 if there's too much fat on that. Um, I prefer not to though, because they're not cheap. But that's fine. We'll go and test the shifting capabilities at the top. Oh, I got the... Oh, it's in park. That's right. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Check this out. It's like butter. Reverse, neutral, drive, flow. Effortless. One finger pull. I'll get it out of park. Nice. Feels like it's supposed to. So... Now I've got to do up an adapter to go from the threaded end of that cable to the selector on the auto, and that will be handled. Um, yeah, that's going to take a bit of fiddling. You can buy a part. Maybe I'll buy. No, I won't buy a part. I'll just make one. It's not like I'm short of fucking taps and dies here. Anyway, and then I probably should get around to like plugging that hole and then fixing the last bit of rust in the cab, which is that. Yep, because once I fix that, I can put the heater box back in, which I rebuilt. I rebuilt the heater box. I had I uh, had like three. Um, I picked this up on mum and dad's. This is out of a 78, I believe. Yep, so I changed the knobs over. The one out of this was missing the entire heater tap matrix, so I could have just taken that off it, but then I tested the fan. The fan was burnt out in the one that was in this because it was full of water eventually or sometime in its life, but lubed up all the leakages I've got to, I'll have to put more of the foam up the top there where it seals to the cab it's a fucking open top though so it's never really going to be recycled air because that is supposed to be recycled air or fresh fresh air um, which comes in through these vents but there's that's like all a vent there yeah and that's some vent there too so uh, um, that flap's gonna do basically nothing. So that's supposed to be cabin feed, and then that's supposed to be fresh air feed, but it's all gonna be fresh air. But I'll seal it anyway. <laughs> I'll seal it anyway. Right, uh, let's see if I've got like a really big bulk that I can drill and tap to suit the selector. And then hopefully, I measured it out a while ago, and the throw on the shifter and the throw on the auto was the same, so it should just work. If it isn't, I'll have to move the pivot around on the auto shifter. But uh, fingers crossed, it just works. Yeah. All right. So I had it in, mounted up. It works, but the throw's a little funny. Um, I can either get it really good for park or really good for low. And if I half blend it between the two, it's pretty shit all over. So, I'm guessing that arm's a bit long. Now this is the bell crank that was mounted to the tail housing. The auto shifter went to one side and then there was a rod coming off this bottom one to go to the auto itself. Now if you have a look at that, something I didn't notice when I was putting it together, that center hole is off center by seven millimeters. So, 
literally the throws are different. So we're going to start by cutting this and taking seven millimeters out of it. And we'll start there. It's probably going to need more, but we'll just keep shrinking it until we get it right. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Who would have thought it would be this hard, eh? Anyway. Okay, there it is shortened up, and it works. Sweet. Seven mil, pretty much bang on the money. Um, I could have maybe gone a bit shorter, maybe... Maybe I could have taken 10, but it feels pretty good. Gets low, gets parked. So I'm just modifying the rooster comb now. Uh, we've got park there, reverse, and then neutral drives this channel here, and then all the way back here on this step was low. So there wasn't a notch for neutral, and there wasn't a notch for low. So because this is going to be doing a fair bit of off-road work, I want it to like stay in low. At the moment, you bump the stick and it'll just go straight into drive or neutral. So um, made a notch for, for low or first, just there. And then if I break something, I want to be able to lock it into neutral. So I just made a notch for neutral as well, because it drives here. So like if I'm in neutral, in theory, and I've broken something pretty catastrophic and I want to leave it in neutral, I could potentially bump it into drive. So that's why the notches are there. So I'll clean that up a little bit, and then I'll put the shifter back together. And that should be the shifter and everything done. Um, so in theory, if I wanted to get real ready, I could fucking drive it around. But... But, we'll see. All right, here we are in the cockpit. Vroom, vroom. And you see the fucking wheels down there. Might get around to putting floor pans in this thing. Anyway, there we go. One completed auto shifter with center console. It's missing the, it had like this weird sort of piping chrome shit that went around there. It was all cracked and fucked. I don't know, I'll work something else out there because it's got like holes in it. Maybe I'll get some o-ring cord and fucking push it into it but you anyway, know there we go one auto shift the shift points are pretty close to where they need to be there's a bit of give in the cable so yeah so it's all right going down going back up you got to go a bit past there we go so that's actually drive and then neutral a bit more neutral and then Reverse is pretty much bang on. There we go. Reverse and park. We're going down. It's all right, but I'm guessing that's just a bit of movement in the cable because I replaced the bushes in the bottom of the stick. They were worn out. I had some bush material and I machined them up. So that's about as good as that's going to get. Um, I can maybe take a little bit more out of the lever. Uh, if it gives me issues in the future, I'll probably do that. I took the 7 mil out of it. Maybe I can go 10 or 12, but it's it's pretty much bang on. It's just just dealing with a bit of giving the cable really. Other than that, it gets gets all the gears. So now we've got a lockout in low, so it stays in low. We'll go back down in reverse, neutral, stays in neutral, and then drives always had its own plate so the drive always pulls into a plate but it before if it was in low and you bumped it it'd pull back up into drive and then same with neutral if I'm broken and I want it like you could pull it down into drive for neutral so now there's a positive lockout in neutral positive lockout in low yeah looks good looks factory it works nice all right that's the patch repair done and that's the auto ship done I just welded transfer case plate and then the actual original gear stick plate to it so that's what's going to hold the whole thing down it's going to have like eight bolts in it so yeah finally i'll put the cable back in this and uh, put it in for the last time actually i'll have to come out to paint it but last time there we have it all bolted in nice I cut that for the clearance for the heater. Um, the heater cleared, but the controls didn't. So I cut about 40 mil off of that. It used to just be a point the whole way. Um, I do have like another 15 mil I can take out of that if I need it. But she's pretty solid now, so you can actually slam on it and it doesn't fucking wiggle around. So, sweet. Yeah. Right, then. We'll probably call it here. 
one whole episode just on doing an auto shifter, but it's fairly important, so just got to take time with these things. Anywho, catch us on the next one. Keep the rubber side down. Stay out of yourselves.